Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review video for you guys. I am going to haul these in my April, March haul, whatever. <laughs> I can't even keep up myself. I do a haul once a month and in April I'm doing my, or in May I'm gonna do my April haul. And I haven't hauled these, but I got quite a few requests to review these and let you guys know whether these are worth it or worthless to purchase. So I went ahead, I have tried these out and I wanted to come on here and tell you guys whether it's worth it or don't bother, just save your money. So what I'm talking about is these NYX Pro Foundation Mixers. NYX has come out with these which I think is genius. It is truly genius because for a person like me who is not a foundation fanatic, I don't go buying foundations like crazy, but I do like what I have. It's just sometimes it's either my summer color or my winter color. So this way I can kind of save myself some money and save you guys some money. And um, you guys don't have to worry about like spending money or having so many bottles of, of foundations if that's something that you don't like to buy a lot. Because I know I don't personally, that's not something that I get all giddy about and I'm okay with what I have in that sense. So these are available at Ulta or at NYX's website. They are $10 a piece and that is not including any coupons, any deals. So even by itself, I think that's just an amazing deal. I purchased these when they were buy two get one free at Ulta, but these are always gonna be buy one get one half off or you can use that $3, $3.50 off of 10. So you can get these even for less than $10. So these are amazing. As far as I'm aware of, they don't have these in any of my Ultas near my area. I think these are gonna be online only for a while until they stock them into the store. And these have been selling out like crazy, especially the white one and I will get to it. So you guys know the price. You get 1.01 fluid ounce. So basically you're getting a full size foundation in this. So you're not getting gypped, you're not getting less, you're getting the same amount of product that you would on a typical foundation. I personally went ahead and picked up three colors, three colors that I knew I was going to use, going to get use out of. Um, and there are five in total. No. I'm sorry, there are six of them in total. There is one more that I do wanna purchase. There are six of these in total, so these aren't the only three that I have. So this is what they look like, which I think is awesome. Here I have the white, this is called white. Then I purchased the warmth one, and then I purchased the olive one. The other three that I am missing are the luminous, opalescent, and deep. I wanna get deep for my makeup kit. Now, uh, basically, this is what it's coming down to. Not only is this great for your everyday person to kind of mix and match, kind of control your color as far as foundations go, but this is also great for a makeup kit. If you're the type that does makeup on other people or you are a makeup artist, these are amazing. The, they're pretty small. They're as big as my hand, so they're not gonna take up a lot of space, and these work so good. I'm telling you right now, you need to run out and get these. Even if you're just one person that doesn't do makeup on anybody, that really doesn't need a lot of foundations, doesn't have a lot of foundations, these are gonna come in handy for those foundations you absolutely love, but either a, a certain undertone is not there for you, or it's too dark, or you have to buy two to mix to get your right uh, fit. This is gonna help you with these. So the one that I obviously have been using is the white one. The white one is pure white. First of all, you get it's they're all squeezy tubes, so you can squeeze these out. My recommendation for how to store these is store them upside down. Because if you store them like this and you squeeze, you're gonna get a lot of product coming out. So it's best that you store them like this. And if you're storing them like this in your everyday makeup, it's perfectly fine. If you have a kit, I'm sure you could find a spot where you can just lean these on the side so then you don't um, gunk up too much of it. You're gonna see a demo. I did do a demo so you guys can see this live and how I applied these and you can see how I mix it up. So that way you guys can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So of course this is a, a screw kind of top. Oh, and of course I drop it. <laughs> and then this is a squeezy tube. And basically what I do is I squeeze, that's what the white one looks like. And if you blend this completely out, 
it is just basically white it has nothing it's just plain white it's not super opaque as you guys can tell it kind of reminds me of the NYX jumbo pet crayon thing in milk when you blend it out that's what this reminds me of it's just some some of that kind of feeling as you can see I rubbed this out completely and you can still see a white a white cast on my hand now you're probably wondering Alex is this gonna mess up my favorite foundation the quality the um, under or the finish of it the longevity of it is it gonna ruin what I love about my foundation the answer to that is absolutely not I have used this white one in particular which I feel like this is gonna be the most popular one everyone's gonna go for. So I might as well get a backup just in case. But anyway, um, I used this one. I used it with a runny, consistent foundation. That foundation is a natural finish. It does not have any glow to it, but it's not super matte. When I blended them together, which is what you're gonna see in the demo, it did not change the consistency of it so it didn't make it any runnier or any thicker it didn't change the finish of it so the natural finish of that foundation still stayed naturally finished it blended beautifully it did not make it harder to blend the foundation on my face it didn't make it easier to blend on the foundation on my face um, as far as the longevity of it, it also did not alter the longevity. It didn't make, this did not make my foundation last longer. It did not make my foundation last less time. So this is all, all it is is just to help you change the color of your foundation, which I love. The only drawback that I have of this is they have what I needed. They have an olive tone because I, a lot of Latinas are olive undertone. My mother is one of them. She always has a hard time trying to find a foundation that's not too yellow, not too pink. This is gonna be perfect for her. And a lot of, of my friends have olive undertone. So I purposely got this to help them out and try to see if I can finagle it. I kind of have like neutral, yellow to neutral undertone. So I'm okay. I, my mom always said that I have an easier face to match with foundation than she ever did. And then the other one that I got was warmth. Because there are foundations for instance the Clinique one I love Clinique foundations I love Clinique products but they are so pink in their undertones that this may help it I ha I cannot speak too much on these I'm gonna swatch these for you so you guys can see them as well but I can't say whether this is really gonna help out a lot but the few reviews that are out there using these the person absolutely loved it and everything that I claimed this has these did as well so I can only imagine how great these are going to be now the only drawback I have they have opalescent luminous and deep so for those chocolate beautiful goddess women out there that always have a hard time finding a deep uh, skin tone foundation. I think that one will work really good. I'm going to purchase that one and really test it out because I really want to see it in person. But the only drawback again that I am trying to get to, the point I'm trying to get to is they don't have one that has a pink undertone, which is a bummer. And I, but, but the reviews that I have read, the majority of the women that have have had pink undertones that are extremely fair go with the white and they say that it works so good so maybe this might work for pink this is what I've been using with for me and I'm yellow undertone and it's worked awesome I am wearing it again today this time around I mixed it with a thicker moussier texture foundation it's too dark for me right now it is my summer color so I wanted to see if it if it only worked with like runny foundations, if it only worked with, you know, certain foundations, I think that this worked great. It completely matched me. I, I feel like I match pretty well. I mixed it in. It didn't change it. It didn't change the, the mixing um, texture of it. Nothing. It didn't do anything. I think it looks, the, the finish of the foundation still looks just like as if I didn't use this. Now, the other upside about this is uh, as I was doing my foundation today, I realized that you can also use this to highlight. If you're the type of person that just wants to highlight with your foundation and doesn't want to have to use different foundations or whatever it is, that, or concealers or whatever, you can also do this. Because what I did was 
I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I mix it in with this. I realized that I did a little bit too much of this, which I can easily add more foundation and it would have mixed it in and would have been not perfectly fine. But what I did, I used that lighter version where I would normally want to lighten my face. And then I grabbed more foundation and I lightened that up to my natural skin tone and then placed it on there and that's how I blended it out and it worked great. So that's another option that you have for this product as well. So it's very versatile. I, I find it to be very versatile and it's not sticky. It's still in my hands, look. It's not sticky, it's not glowy. It truly, if you see my hand in person, it looks like just my hand, just a little bit lighter. It looks exactly like my hand. I don't see anything different. It's not glowy, it's not shiny. The only two that I would not recommend for you to get because I don't feel like they are practical is the opalescent and the luminous. The opalescent, I ha what I've read about it, kind of gives you more of a dimensional look because obviously the opalescent kind of like shifts and gives you that glowy. Both of those basically what they're doing is just making you have a glowy skin. But you can easily just pick up a Liquid loop illuminator. Illuminator. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. You can pick up a loop a Luca. Luca, Luca, Luca. Okay. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You can easily pick up a liquid highlighter and just mix it in with your foundation and you're perfectly set. You can pick a yellow, pink, or neutral one. They have them at your drugstore and they have them in high-end stores. So I don't see them to be necessary. If you're the type of person that would rather have a, a product that won't give you glitter, maybe, maybe the illuminator, you don't want that glitter effect or you don't want that undertone effect, maybe those might be for you. But to be honest with you, I don't think that those are very necessary and I would just skip out on those two colors. And anything that I have read with those, they did lighten up the foundation for the individual. Um, but it gave them a, a glowy finish and it will obviously change your foundation finish because it's considered to be a glowy mixer but i don't I, anything that i read about it it wasn't great so i probably skip out on those the four that i would definitely recommend is hands down get this one this one will be your best friend for concealers it'll be your best friend for foundations anything liquid form you can even mix this with liquid highlighters and lighten those up and change the color of your liquid highlighter. So this one, yes, I'm gonna get a backup of it. This has been sold out for so long. I finally saw it in stock and I picked it up. This one is gonna be a hard one to get your hands on because everyone's wanting this one. I love the olive tone one and I love the warmth as well as the deep. So now, I'm, obviously you saw the white one. I'm going to show you the olive tone one so for my olivey girls out there, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. Look at that. This might even work for some of my beautiful chocolate undertone ladies. And then this is Warmth, which has more red orange. And don't be scared, the reviews and the demos that I have seen with this one in particular did not make your face look red, did not make your face look like an Oompa Loompa. It actually warmed up the foundation beautifully. So that's olive, that is warmth, and right here is white blended out. So now that you have seen the swatches of them, I'm gonna get right into the demo so you guys can see firsthand how I applied it and what I did. I will forewarn you, in the demo, I, I accidentally poured too much foundation on my hand, so I had to use more mixer to kind of, because the foundation was just too much, so it was still keeping it dark, but if you use a little bit of foundation and a little bit of this and just do little by little, you're gonna get it right. You're gonna be a mad scientist, but that's the best part of makeup. You can do whatever you want. So on to the demo. I can't find my little mixing dish anywhere, but I wanted to try this out. So I did my eyeballs and I put on my primer and my glowiness. So this is my Revlon Nearly Naked foundation, and this is my summer color. So obviously this is gonna be a little bit too dark for me. So I wanted to try this Pro Foundation Mixer. This is the popular one, the white one, obviously. It's a squeezy tube, which I do appreciate. Whoop, look at that. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand with the foundation and see how much of this is needed. 
and let's see how well it does so so there is my foundation as you guys can see it's too dark so now I'm just gonna put a little bit more and you barely have to squeeze this out because it will come out I would suggest store it this way versus this way because then a lot's gonna gunk out so that's how much I put so I'm gonna mix it up and see if that's enough I'm gonna need a little bit more and I put way too much foundation in here so I'm gonna put that much I still feel like that's a little bit too dark we're getting there though so I'm just gonna put a little bit more I'd rather start little than a lot and then overdo it, so. All right, so that's the closest I can get without going overboard. So let's try this on. Just by mixing this here, I don't feel like the consistency of the foundation has changed. It still feels the same. It doesn't feel any more liquidy or runny than it already is. So that's the good thing. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my review on these. In my opinion, I feel like these are 100% worth it. I personally would use them. I find that these will be great for your everyday makeup routine. You can even grab a empty container of uh, a sample you got or you can get one at Walmart, Target where they sell those little screw, screw ones. Grab your favorite foundation that's too dark. Put a little bit of pumps put whatever you want in there, keep it mixed up, and that way you have your own concoction of your favorite foundation and you don't have to constantly mix it every single day. That's another idea you can do. So yes, I would say if you are a makeup artist, if you have trouble finding a foundation that matches your undertone or you want something to be a little bit warmer or you have your winter shades and you just want to make them darker for your summer shades I would definitely say get these these are very inexpensive I have seen these in other companies that are pretty expensive and this is legit worth it completely in my eyes I love it I'm so happy I've been stalking these I finally got them yes I will link it down below I'm Alta and NYX are the two company or two websites that I have seen it. I have not seen it in stores at all. So I don't know if it will be coming to stores and this product is permanent so it's not limited edition. So if you do not get it right now or if it is sold out for whatever reason at this point that I put up this video, you will be able to find it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did like it. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I will catch you guys in my next video and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Hello.